Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. Here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 113, verse 3. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. And his name is Yeshua HaMashiach, also known as Jesus Christ. The name above every name. All right, so tomorrow on the 17th, it will be six months since Christina escaped. And it's shocking that we're still here. But praise our Father for his mercy. It's new every morning. And we have to be excited because we see the day approaching. And we have to be joyful because it is finished. And no matter what happens from here on out, as long as we keep our faith, our names are written in the book of life. And we'll be spending eternity with Jesus Christ. But remember, we are in the great apostasy. The great falling away from faith. And 72% of the world population did not keep their arms covered. And faith comes from hearing the word of God. So keep eating the bread of life and increasing your faith, family. And again, we're in the great apostasy. And 72% of the world population did not keep their arms covered. And I'm about to show you why I'm saying this. And you should be able to put it together real quick. They're saying there's a new COVID strain called Arcturus. And it's all over the internet, family. As you can see right here, it says this one symptom is emerging with the new highly transmissible Arcturus COVID-19. And they're saying it's highly transmissible. As you can see right here, it says while it does have a higher transmissibility rate than previous strains, the variant Arcturus is giving people red or pink eye which is often combined with itchiness. And as you go through the articles, it's on the Washington Post, it's on the Forbes, it's on Independent. There's pictures of what it does to your eyes. And we know most of the world is blind and blocked, and this is just going to make it worse. But here's what's gigantinormous, and I know you could put this together. Arcturus is right next to what they call the woman, Virgo. And Arcturus is the brightest star in the constellation they call Boots. And here's what's gigantinormous. That constellation they call Boots is a man holding a sickle. And you already know, people made up this guy named the Grim Reaper, and he holds a sickle also. And you already know, when you go to Revelation chapter 6, verse 6, the wheat and the barley go first. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And now I'll take you to Revelation chapter 14, and we'll start at verse 14. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. So it's not a coincidence that there's a new strain that they're pushing called Arcturus. So keep your heads up and your arms covered, family, because they're still trying to get people to wear masks. 
and change the way that our Father perfectly designed us. So we ain't falling for it because we know Jesus Christ and we know what he said. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. And I'll give you a perfect example. All glory to our Father. When Christina was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer, they told her if she does chemo and radiation, they could save her life. And she didn't want to leave us, family. But at the same time, her faith was strong from the word. And she was in a straight betwixt to having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. And I want to go too. But nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. So until Jesus Christ comes and gets us, or I take my last breath, I'm going out swinging, and I'm swinging the sword, the word of God, and I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit right now. All glory to you, Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. We're not going to bow down to no one but Jesus Christ. We're not going to bow down to the world and the world's ways. We're not going to give up. We're not going to retreat. I'm not going to draw back. The word says if you draw back, he takes no pleasure in you. We are to endure as good soldiers for Jesus Christ. We're not going to stand down. We're going to be like Joshua. We're going to be like King David and defeat the enemy, Goliath. And any other giants that stand in our way. You're a child of the one true King, Jesus Christ. You're seated in heavenly places with Jesus Christ. You've been given all the power over the enemy by Jesus Christ. This is a battle between good versus evil. So no matter what happens, hold fast like Jesus Christ said. And pray and ask him for extra oil so you could shine brighter in this dark time. And be a light to everybody in the house. To everybody in the world, everybody that comes across your path, let them see Jesus Christ burning bright through you. You know the day's approaching, and he said the signs would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. So we're going to keep watching and doing what he said to do. And they're calling this week the International Dark Sky Week, April 15th to 22nd. And it's right here. Everything you need to know about the rare and strange hybrid solar eclipse. The eclipse will begin at 9.36 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on April 19th. And this is the path of the hybrid eclipse. And the maximum eclipse time on the West Coast will be on April 19th at 9.16 p.m. And that makes that April 20th at 4.16 UTC time. This is a rare hybrid eclipse and it only happens once every decade. A rare celestial event is set to occur on April 20th, a hybrid solar eclipse. This phenomenon is an infrequent occurrence happening only once a decade on average. It is a unique combination of the three types of solar eclipses that can take place, total, partial, and annular. This is because the Sun, Earth, and Moon must be in very specific positions for a hybrid eclipse to occur. In fact, of the 224 eclipses in the 21st century, only seven are hybrid. And now I'll take you to Stellarium right now. As you can see, the Moon just passed what they call Saturn and what they call the constellation Aquarius. And as you go to tomorrow, you can see it approaching Jupiter and the Sun, which is in what they call Pisces. And when you get to the 18th, it's closing in. And you go through the hours, and you could see that the Moon and Jupiter go into conjunction on the 19th. And when you go through the hours, you can see the Moon approaching the Sun. And there's the hybrid eclipse right in what they call Pisces, above what they call Cetus, the fish, and the whale. And right before the hybrid eclipse, 
the moon will be passing an asteroid named Cornelia that's right next to what they call Jupiter. And the reason this stands out is the meaning of Cornelia is horn. And as you go through the hours, you can see the moon lines up with Cornelia right before it lines up with what they call Jupiter and right before the hybrid eclipse. And it's all happening in what they call Pisces, the fish. And right when it happens, you can see what they call Mercury right underneath what they call Aries, right where the last total blood moon eclipse happened. And Thalia and Nemesis is also there. And what they call Uranus, Uranus. So keep your heads up and your lights on. And there's a possible Earth-directed CME that happened yesterday around 1030 Universal Time. And if the radiation hits Earth, we could see an uptick in earthquakes tomorrow. But here's what's gigantinormous, a blue spiral over Alaska. And it says longtime Aurora hunter Todd Salat is no stranger to fantastic displays in the night skies of Alaska. But even he was not prepared for what happened after local midnight on Saturday, April 15th. He said, I was utterly surprised and mystified when I first spotted a distant bright light coming toward me from the northern horizon. At first I thought it was a jet airliner flying through some clouds. Then it took on the spiral shape and grew big fast. This is what he saw. I was shooting frantically with two camera slash tripod setups knowing that this was a unique event and within about seven minutes the apparition swept by and disappeared. And a lot of people are saying that this is SpaceX, and he says it right here, that he witnessed a SpaceX spiral. Three hours earlier, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base. And every time this happens, they blame it on the SpaceX launches. And here's a video of it right here, what he caught. And here comes the auroras which are being seen all over the whole world. And green means go. And here it comes. And it was amazing. And there's tons of these popping up everywhere. If you go to spiral in the sky and you click images, you could scroll through and see that this happens all the time lately. And here it is on the Anchorage Daily News site. Mysterious glowing spiral in the sky over Alaska draws questions and a simple explanation, they're saying. And Todd Salat also said it was a beautiful piece of art in the sky. He said, I would say this is maybe the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'll say that's nothing compared to what we're about to see when Jesus Christ is revealed when people are eating and drinking and planting and building and buying and selling and getting married, like people are doing right now. <laughs> 